Significant figures. What are significant figures? Significant. Significant figures. Significant figures. Significant figures are the digits in a number with a certainty. Digits in a number with a certainty. Certainty. With the certainty. Plus one digit with a uncertainty. One digit with a uncertainty. Uncertainty. See. 0 point or 6.37 milliliter. 6.37 milliliter. These two digits are certain. But this digit is uncertain. Its uncertainty is plus or minus 1. Its uncertainty is plus or minus 1. So, what are significant figures? Significant figures are the digits in a number with a certainty plus one digit with uncertainty. Now, important methods of finding significant figures are the following. First method, all non-zero digits in a number are non-zero Digits in a number are, digits in a number are significant, significant. For example, 7.77123. See, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 significant, significant figures. That is 6 non-zero digits. So, this number contains 6 significant figures, 6 fig, significant figures. Two zeros coming between non-zero digits. Zeros coming between non-zero digits are non-zero digits are significant. Significant. For example, seven point zero 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 seven one. See, all these three zeros are coming between all these. Three zeros are coming between these non-zero digits, this seven and this seven. So all these zeros are significant. There are one, two, three, four, five, six. Six significant figures. Six significant figures. Three. The zeros coming before non-zero digits are not significant. Zeros coming before non-zero digits are not, sig not significant. Before. Zeros before non-zero digits are not, not significant. Non-zero digits. Non-zero digits are not significant. For example, 0 0.0000713. Or 0 0.0040 0 0.0047101. See, all these zeros are coming before this non-zero digit. So they are not significant. Only 1, 2, 3, 4. This zero is coming between non two non-zero digits. So there are four significant figures. Four significant figures. Fourth point. Terminal zeros are significant. Terminal zeros are significant when there is a decimal point. But terminal zeros are not significant when there is no decimal point. Terminal zeros are terminal zeros are zeros are not significant. Not significant. Significant if there is no Decimal point, decimal point. For example, for example, say thousand. There is no decimal point. 
So these three zeros are not significant, only one is significant. So there is only one significant figure. And it can be expressed in scientific notation. It can be expressed in scientific notation as 1 into 10 rise to 3. See, there is only one significant figure, this one. Now, 100 point, see, in this number, there is a decimal point, And these two zeros are coming. And these two zeros are significant because there is a decimal point. And one is also significant. There are three significant figures. Three significant figures. Its scientific notation is 1.00 into 10 rise to 2. See, we can displace this decimal point to this after 1. So we get 1.00. See, there are three significant figures. 1, 2, 3. So three significant figures are there. Now, 100.00. 0, 100.0, 100.0. In this number, see, there is a decimal point. So this 0, this 0, this 0, and 1 becomes significant. There are 4 significant figures. 4 significant figures. There are 4 significant figures. And it can be expressed in scientific notation as 1.000 into 10 square. See, this decimal point is displaced after 1 or just after 1. So we get 1.000. There are 4 significant figures. This is the scientific notation. Now, fifth point is, fifth point is, the counting numbers have infinite number of significant figures. For example, five pence means there are five point zero 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 etc. That is infinite number of zeros are there. So five pence that is the counting number has infinite number of significant figures. Infinite infinite number of significant figures. Similarly, 70 balls means 70.0000 etc. balls. Therefore, there are infinite number of zeros after the decimal point and there are infinite number of significant figures. Sixth point, zeros coming after non-zero digit which come after a decimal point are significant. For example, 0 0.00700. See, in this number, these zeros are not significant. Why? Because they come before non-zero digit. But these two zeros become significant. 7 also becomes significant. See, why? Because these two zeros come after a non-zero digit. That itself come after a decimal point. See, this non-zero digit comes after a decimal point. If after that non-zero digit there are zeros, that zeros or those zeros will be significant. So, there are three significant figures. Rules for rounding of a number. Rounding of rules. First rule is, all the digits to be removed are taken together. Not one by one, but taken together. Second point is, if the leftmost digit to be removed is greater than 5, then the last digit to be retained is increased by 1. See, I am going to give an example. 7.33 Six, seven, one, nine. We want to retain 7.33 and want to remove this 6719. Here, the leftmost digit to be removed is 6, which is greater than 5. Then, the last digit to be retained is 
increased by 1. So this can be rounded off as 7.34. That is according to this second rule. The if the leftmost digit to be removed is greater than 5, then the last digit to be retained. This part is to be retained. And this is to be removed. If the leftmost digit to be removed is greater than 5, then the last digit to be retained is increased by 1. So this is rounded off to 7.34. Okay. Third point. If the leftmost digit to be removed is less than 5, then the last digit to be retained is not changed. For example, see 7.3349999. We want to retain 7.33 here. And we want to remove 4999. See, the leftmost digit to be removed is less than 5. So, no need to add anything. That is 7.33 remain as such. It is not changed. Repeat. If the leftmost digit to be removed is less than 5, then the last digit to be retained is not changed. It remains the same. You have to simply remove or take off this, these three, four, so these four digits. Okay. So we get 7.33. That's the final answer rounded off figure. Now fourth point is this. If the leftmost digit to be rounded off is 5 and the others contain at least one non zero digit, then the last digit to be retained is increased by 1. Let us see. 7.335001. See the digits to be retained are 7.33733. Now, to be removed are 5001. See, the leftmost digit to be rounded off or leftmost digit to be removed is 5. And the others contain at least one non zero digit. See, this is 0, this is 0, there is one non zero digit. At least one non zero digit. Then, the last digit to be retained is increased by 1. That is, it is equal to 7.34. I repeat, if the leftmost digit to be rounded off is 5, and if the others contain at least one non-zero digit, yes, then the last digit to be retained, last digit to be retained is increased by 1. Okay. Then fifth point is this. If the leftmost digit to be rounded off is 5 and the others are zeros. If the leftmost digit to be rounded off is 5 and the others are zeros, then the last digit to be retained is increased by 1 if it is odd. See, this 3, the last digit to be retained is 3. It is odd. Odd. It's an odd number. So you have to add 1. That is, it is rounded off as 7.34. See, this is the answer. Repeat. If the leftmost digit to be rounded off is 5, and the others are zeros. They do not contain non-zero digits. Then the last number to be retained is increased by 1 if it is odd. It is odd. So it is increased by 1. The same case. 7.32500. See, these numbers are to be retained. And these are to be removed. See, the leftmost digit to be removed is 5. And the others are zeros. Then, the last digit to be retained is not changed if it is even. See, 2 is even. So, there is no need to increase it by 1. So, you have to write it as 7.32.
no not adding one number with the two okay so i repeat if the leftmost digit to be rounded off is 5 and the others are zeros the last digit to be retained is increased by 1 if it is odd and not changed if it is even okay the rounding of principle can be applied to addition subtraction multiplication and division see in the case of addition and subtraction see 11.03 must be added with 1.021 and 0.6 see this is the sum is 1 5 6.2 1 see 12 point 12 point 651 is the answer but the answer is not reported as such in the case of addition the final answer must be reported with the same number of digits as in the number with the least number of digits to the right of the decimal point involved in the operation that means we have to find the uh, digit or figure with the least number of digits to the right of the decimal point among these three see there is only one there are three digits to the right there are two digits to the right so the least number of digit to the right of the decimal point is in the third number third figure so the final answer must also be expressed with the same number of digits to the right of the decimal point as in the number with the least number of digits that is this number this, this has only one digit but the others have a, a higher number of digits so the final answer must be expressed with a one digit to the right of the decimal point why because among these three numbers this number contain only one digit to the right of the decimal point am i right okay so the final answer is reported as reporting reporting as see here in this number see we have to retain 12.6 am i right and we have to round or remove 51 and you know that leftmost digit to be removed is 5 and the others contain one non zero digit am i right so the last digit to be retained is increased by 1 according to the rounding of principles so the answer is 12.7 see 12.7 see if all these are in grams then we have to report the answer as 12.7 grams 12.7 grams that's the answer that about the addition okay in the case of subtraction see 15.05 1.3 see 15.05 minus 1.3 see this is 5 this is 7 this is 3 1 So thirteen point seven five is the answer. Am I right? But in the case of subtraction, also the same principle is used. That is, we have to report the final answer with the same number of digits to the right of the decimal point. To the right of the decimal point involved in the operation. Okay. See, in this number. there are two digits to the right of the decimal point and in this number there is only one digit to the right of the decimal point so the final answer must be expressed with one digit to the right of the decimal point so i am going to adjust this value or round off this value see 13.7 should be retained and 5 should be removed if the leftmost digit that is to be removed is 5 then the last digit to be retained is increased by 1 if it is odd and it is not changed if it is even that is the principle so here 
the last digit to be retained is even sorry odd therefore we have to add one here that is 13.8 so the reporting answer is reporting answer is 13.8 uh, if all these are in see this is in liter this is in liter the final answer will also be reported as 13.8 liter okay that about subtraction so i repeat in the case of subtraction and addition the final value or final result will be reported or must be reported with the same number of digits to the right of the decimal point as in the number with the least number of digits to the right of the decimal point involved in the operation see in the case of multiplication and division multiplication and division see the rounding of principles can be used see i'm going to explain one example for both these covering both these two points that is multiplication and division both in one uh, 2.7 into 10 raised to minus 5 divided by 2 into 10 raised to 2 see we have to divide 2.7 into 10 raised to minus by 2 into 10 raised to 2 see this can be simplified as 2.7 into 10 raised to minus 5 see this 10 raised to 2 comes in numerator as 10 raised to minus 2 by 2 that's equal to see 2.7 into 10 raised to minus 7 by 2 2.7 by 2 is equal to 1.35 1.35 into 10 raised to minus 7 see this is the final answer see in the case of multiplication and division the final answer must be reported with the same number of significant figures as in the number with the least number of significant figures involved in the operation see in this operation this number has two significant figures one two these are two non zero digits so there are two significant figures and in the denominator there is only one significant figure two one significant figure so the final answer must also be expressed with one significant figure because among these two values or these two figures the number with the least number of significant figures is this that is denominator so the final answer must also be expressed with one significant figure so in order to obtain one significant figure we have to retain one we have to round off three five and you know that the leftmost digit to be removed is three that is less than five according to the principle and then the last number to be retained is not changed so the answer is one into ten rise to minus seven that's the answer that is we have expressed the final answer with one significant figure as in this number involved in the operation see the number 100 we are asked to report it for one significant figure so first of all we have to convert into into scientific notation see one significant figure sig figure first of all we have to convert it into scientific notation that is 1 into 10 rise to 2 see there is only one significant figure so we can report 100 for one significant figure as 1 into 10 rise to 2 now 100 can be reported for two significant figures two significant figures as follows that is 1.0 into 10 rise to 2 there are two significant figures two significant figures now we are asked to report it for three significant figure 
three significant figures. Then 100 can be reported for three significant figures as follows. 1.00 into 10 raised to 2. See, there is only one significant figure. There are two significant figures. Then there are three significant figures. And all these values are for 100. But reporting for different number of significant figures. Now, see this number, 4253.16. See this number. Now, we are asked to report this number for one significant figure. One significant figure. See, this 4 is to be retained and uh, these numbers or digits are to be removed. And you know that leftmost digit to be removed is less than 5. So the last digit to be retained remain as such. So it's reported as 4000. See, this number contain only one significant figure. So we have reported this figure in one significant figure as this. Now, the same number is reported for two significant figures, two significant figures. Now, see, 4253.16, this is the number. Now we have to retain 4 and 2. Remove 5316, am I right? The leftmost digit to be removed is 5, and the others contain non-zero digits, am I right? So, we have to increase this 2 by 1. So, the reporting answer is 4300, 0, 4300. There are two significant figures. So, we have reported this value for two significant figures as this. Now, we are asked to report it for three significant figures. Three significant figures. See, 4253.16. We have to retain 525 and we have to remove 316. See the leftmost digit to be rounded off or removed is 3. It is less than 5. So the last digit to be retained remain as such. So 4250. That is to be the reporting answer for three significant figures. Now 4253.16. We are asked to report it for four significant figures, four significant figures. Now, see, there are four significant figures, four, two, five, three. And uh, we have to remove one, six. See, the leftmost digit to be removed is one. It is less than five. So the last digit to be retained is not changed. That is four, two, five, three. That's the reporting value. See, reporting for five significant figures, See, five significant figures. See, 4253.16. See, there are five digits. One, two, three, four, five. See, six is to be removed. And all the other digits are to be retained. Since the leftmost digit is six, it is greater than five. The last digit to be retained is increased by one. So, the answer is reported as 4253.2. That's the answer. So this number is reported with the five significant figures like this.